All right, calling all Star Wars fans. The newest trailer for Rogue One just dropped. Check it out. His grandfather built this thing. We need to find him. All right. How many do I need? Here it is, your first look at the latest Rogue One, a Star Wars story trailer showcasing some never-before-seen footage. The latest trek into a galaxy far, far away hits theaters December 16th. Save the rebellion! Save the dream! Meanwhile, the saga of Han Solo's broken leg is finally over. The production company behind Star Wars The Force Awakens has been fined for almost $2 million for the onset mishap that led to Harrison Ford's leg getting crushed. It's true. All of it. You'll recall Ford was seriously injured during filming back in the summer of 2014 when his leg became trapped in the door of his character's Millennium Falcon. It took months before he was able to return to filming. Even so, he was lucky the hydraulic door hit Ford with a force comparable to the weight of a small car. Bob Dylan has just won the 2016 Nobel Prize for literature. The singer-songwriter has been awarded the honor for, quote, having created new poetic expressions within the great American song tradition. Tragically hip frontman Gord Downey is opening up about his battle with terminal brain cancer. In the 52-year-old's first interview since his diagnosis was revealed, he talked about the heartbreaking toll his illness is taking to CBC's Peter Mansbridge. Now I can't remember hardly anything I have. I have Peter written on my hand. And I'd say that just to be up front, because I might call you Doug. Because you've known your kids all your life, and mm -hmm. you sometimes have to fight to remember their names. The full exclusive interview airs tonight on The National. And Downey's latest project, a solo album and graphic novel called Secret Path, will be released next Tuesday. He is still the king. Michael Jackson is the highest earning dead celebrity of 2016, according to Forbes. The late icon passed away in 2009, but still clocked a record $825 million payday this year, which is actually the largest single year earnings for any celebrity, living or dead, ever recorded by Forbes. Most of Jackson's cash comes from this year's sale of his half of the Sony ATV music publishing catalog, most famously home to the Beatles tunes. Turns out having a wedding ceremony in Vegas officiated by Elvis does not necessarily mean you're legally married. Local officials have confirmed Shia LaBeouf and Mia Goth did not tie the knot over the weekend, but did have a commitment ceremony. In other LaBeouf news, he's about to hit the big screen in American Honey. We explore, like, America. We party. Come with us. I caught up with his co-stars in Toronto to talk about the Odyssey-like road trip flick. How instrumental was Shia in, like, bringing us together? Tell us about working with him. We just all hung out, and then we just bounced off each other's energies, and I think that's how it all worked out. You're all kind of hustling and trying to, like, make something happen for yourselves as young people. What was that experience like for you? The whole film was emotional for everybody. It was very life-changing, um, more than uh, any other film I've done. American Honey hits select theaters Friday. And coming up tomorrow, more from our interview with Ben Affleck about his new thriller, The Accountant.